What's up world, it is Jason Janai. It's good to have you back here. New day, new video. And today we're gonna be conquering a DJ business question I get asked from time to time. And that is what resources do I use when identifying new candidates to join my company? Where do I go to find the people to work on my events and with me at my company? So if you are new to the business and you're just starting to grow, or you're someone that's existing in the business and you're looking to take your business and your universe to a whole nother level, I hope you find value in this video. And if you do, I'd love to invite you to smash the thumbs up button. I'm gonna share with you three resources that I've had a lot, a lot of success with over the years, identifying people that not only become employees, but become part of my family at SCE. This is not rocket science. It's almost like business 101 stuff, but I'm sharing this to pay it forward and hopefully in hopes of helping someone somewhere, somehow. Before I share the resources that I use to identify new candidates and where I found a lot of success identifying new, new candidates, I think it's super important to start with the framework for what you're looking for. What I'm saying is you need to take some time and you need to write out exactly what the role is going to be for this person you're looking to identify. Think of all the things that they're gonna be responsible for or things that they could be responsible for. Think about all the parameters for which they need to be able to kind of accomplish or be part of in order to function in this role. So if you need them to work on Saturday nights, make sure you write it down. If you need to make sure that they have a driver's license without any kind of like violations on it, make sure you write it down. Make sure that they are full and completely available and capable of fulfilling the role, but you need to organize your thoughts and you need to write it all out so you have it all in front of you. Once you identify the roles, the responsibility, and all the parameters surrounding this opportunity, then you can go to market and use the resources I'm about to mention. My number one go-to is social media. And I use both Instagram and Facebook, and I use a hybrid of stories and posts. And I participate in local community groups on Facebook to send my message out amongst my community. My network has been a great place to go first when looking for new talent. You never know who is connected to who and where someone can send that message because you never know of conversations that take place outside of your personal space. Everyone is connected to someone. And if you've ever heard that saying, your network is your net worth, this is just an extension of that. So use the tools and the people that you have access to in your area. A cosign from someone that you're connected to is a great way to understand a little bit more about the person, especially if someone knows them for an extended period of time or knows that they're a good person, a good dude, a good girl, they're a hard worker, they have always wanted to be a DJ. All of this stuff can help you identify someone strong for your company. Number two, I learned from a good friend of mine who I have a lot of respect and admiration for, his name is Mike Walter. Mike is the author of a number of books. He's actually created a program titled Training Your Next DJ, and he's part of the PhDJ training program as well as podcast with Joe Bunn. Mike is a dear friend and someone that I have a lot of respect for. Now, I learned from Mike that you always have to keep your eyes and your ears open when you are going about your daily life because you never know when someone's gonna present themselves in terms of an opportunity to you or to your business. So every time I go out and I go to a restaurant or I'm working somewhere or doing whatever it is I have going on, I always have my radar on looking for someone that could complement my business, even if I'm not looking to fulfill a position at that point in time. I look for that spark factor, the person that goes over and beyond, someone that can intelligently speak or project well, someone that can hold your attention, someone that just has that it that not everyone has. So I'm always looking for great resources. And ever since I learned this from Mike, it's been part of my overall DNA and it's been now years. Anytime I go anywhere, if someone has that spark, I casually have a quick conversation with them before I before they leave my space saying, hey, I don't know if you're looking for another job or another opportunity, but if you're ever in search of work, I'd love to talk to you about possibly working in the private event industry. I own a company called SCE. We do private events, helping people celebrate awesome all over the place. And if you've ever 
wanted to be part of an event or you'd like to learn more, I'd love to have a quick conversation about that with you whenever the time permits. I hand my business card and I also invite them to check out all the awesome things that we do on YouTube, Instagram, and whatever social media platform they're into. Someone has the opportunity to go do their own homework and if they feel that they can bring something to the table or they ask for that conversation, you are in a great position to talk with them because they are interested. I found a lot of success in this and Mike has shared a number of stories with me over time as well as I think he's even spoke about this in a number of different seminars of where and how he's identified people that have later become key members of his overall team that he just met or saw speak or take part of different things when he wasn't even looking for people. Sometimes you find the best candidates when you're not looking for them. The last place that I would tell you to look and search and places that I found success is your local educational systems. And whether it be your local high school or a local community college or a university that's in your town, in your state, or in your area, these are all great resources for you to dive into looking to identify candidates to be part of your business. There are some rules with employment when people are younger, if they're in high school, and there are some things that might come into play if someone's in college that would limit them from being part of your business, but these are just things you have to look at. Where does the person live when school's not in session? Are there other activities or things that go on in their life that are gonna limit their availability when you're gonna need them to be employed by your business? but I think you can kind of figure it out. And when you locate or identify candidates, these are part of the overall job requirement discussion that we talked about in the beginning. These are just some of the places that I've had tremendous success in identifying candidates to onboard our tribe at SCE and where I found people that have become key members of my team over the year. Now there's a lot of resources that exist in the world today, and it's gonna be different from state to state and area to area. But I'd love to hear where you have had success in the past identifying new candidates to be part of your overall organization. And if you'd like to share it, please do so in the comments below. And I look forward to continuing the conversation there. Thank you for checking out this video. Be on the lookout for new videos dropping here all the time. And I look forward to seeing you guys back in the future.